I would like to continue from this position where you know where you get to know about splits and deletes and so on. So I've selected the first materials, which is this video you are looking at. Then I'll select another one. Let's say this one. So I'll cut from part of this and make this one to be in the middle, while the last the one I cut to be at the end part of the video under the timeline. From this position, you make use of this uh, split and the shortcut key is Ctrl K. So if you click on Ctrl K on your system, the video is, will be split in this position, in this particular position that this uh, line is. So you can make use of this or you enter the shortcut key which is Ctrl K as you are looking at it on the screen. So just press Ctrl K to split it. Then from here, you can also press uh, Ctrl K to split it as well. So you can press the up and down key to move from one position to another position. Uh, this happens to be the last video. Then I want to cut from this area. From this area, I'll press Ctrl K. Then this one, I don't need it. I can delete it. Then uh, from here to this part, I can split it or drag from this position backwards. If you are not making sure of the last part of the video. So this... I will not drag it to this position. So the this the one that that was here will not move to this position. Why the one that is in this part move to this area? So if you play the video, we have two clip together. So you can see. So this is how to split. Now if I want to delete some part of the video, I can make use of this icon which is delete. If I tap on it, I will make it. You can just press delete to use it on your system there are other tools that you can make use of so from this area if you press v, v letter v on your system to take that means you give a, a select tool to select one of the materials so if you press c to give you this a splitting icon so if you select shift a to give you select left word why if you select a to give you select right word so let's see shift a and this is the icon you are looking at. If I press A, it will change the position. If I press C, it will give me splitting icon. And if I press V, it will take me back to a select icon. So this happens to be what you need to know. So this is for splitting. Why this one is for me to undo everything I have made. I can undo them or I, and I can also redo back. So the shortcut key is Ctrl Z for undo. Why the Ctrl plus shift plus z is for redo so if you don't want to be pressing the shortcut key for undo and redo especially for redo you can just come back to this place and make your small single click to take it back to wherever you want it to be so this icon is for splitting why this one is for deleting the icon so this one is for delete right word delete backward why this one is for also to delete so this is add marker if you press m on your keyboard it will show a sign so with this sign if, if i double tap it i can add some text like add transition so you can change the color as well you can, and then you enter done so you can come to another place press m it will give you another sign which is this sign you can double tap it with your left click two times then you can also change its color and enter anything you want to enter and you click on done so this is for you to like set a reminder it's also applicable to adobe premiere pro where you can make where you can add marker so this happens to be the function of uh marker as well so another thing is that you can you can freeze particular part of the video i've entered freeze so if you go to this position nothing will be played so mind you this is the original video but because i enter freeze it's Freeze the remaining part of the video. So if you go to that function, that will be played. So that is the function of that uh, icon as well. So this is for you to hit reverse. So if you tap on it, it will count and show some moment of reversing. So that is that about the icon. Why this is for you to mirror the to change the position from right to left. Then if you want to rotate the icon with the help of this, you can rotate it. Then why this one is for you to resize the the aspect ratio. If you want it to be uh, like this, you can make use of 
So just press on confirm. Then if you want to come back to this position, just click on this resize icon again. Then uh, make use of your free to make it back to this, which is 16.9. Then you now press OK. So this remove filter word will not be available if you did not load it. Because I'm not using data to run this tutorial, uh, so you say join. So if I exit it and I put on my data to have internet access on my system, then it will load it. And this sometimes it will not be available. Why sometimes it will be available? But any other thing aside from this icon will be available on the system.